Good morning. I hope you had a good weekend. So I wanted to kind of just do a little catch up as far as the uh, the conflict news is concerned, because lots of stuff happens during the period of time that we're off. I'm not going to take any deep dives into any one particular thing at all. I'm just basically going to give you the cliff notes uh, of what's happened over the last couple of days. Uh, I have been spending even more time with uh with this Leosov camera and i've actually figured out some pretty cool little things with it uh, including how you can use it for a well we'll just call it a portable surveillance system and uh it's, it's actually pretty easy and now i don't have uh i don't have it taken as far as you could take it you could use any type of a mobile hotspot, whether it be a phone with mobile hotspot or a dedicated mobile hotspot or any number of things to where you could access that surveillance camera from anywhere around the world as long as you had an internet connection. Or, even better yet, I figured out a way that you can set it up as a, a surveillance system, a portable surveillance system that you could deploy in just a matter of moments and give you a really good picture i mean it, i'll show you guys we'll get there because I'm, I'm definitely putting the cart before the horse um but i've been playing with it and i'm finding out more and more cool things that can be done with it and uh and it's awesome so again and i'll put the link but uh you know there will be review videos coming um it is an indoor camera i do want to i really want to specify that 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 is an indoor camera i don't want anybody trying to mount it on the soffit of their house and then a week later crying because it don't work it's not an outdoor camera um but it is uh that thing is neat that thing is really really neat i've got lots of testing to go um because i'm going to test how long the internal battery can last uh both in daytime and at nighttime when the infrared leds are on um yeah i'm gonna run it through the full gambit just like i i told the company i would do um but at first i was getting familiar with the product i'm i'm getting comfortable with uh with what i know on the on the item and uh and so now it's time to start rolling out a little bit of content not only to show you guys um you know the, the the quality or the value of the item uh, but also to give you some tips and tricks and stuff like that on using it uh it is it is cool i will tell you it is cool um it doesn't have all the bells and whistles that like say your ring cameras and all that but in my opinion you don't want that stuff but that's why I've got a, an NVR, a closed loop NVR system right right in front of me um, because I don't want uh, everybody and their brother monitoring my system. I don't, I, I don't want that. That's not, uh, I, to me, that's not security. <laughs> that's pretty much the opposite. But anyway, I digress. We're far away from talking about conflict. So let's scroll down. I went ahead and took the liberty to click more articles a few times so that we could uh, get to where we last left off. Of course, we talked on, I think, oh, maybe that was Friday. I put out the video about the B-21. That might have been Friday. Um, so anyway, as, as you probably already know, there was a historic flight, uh, the new B-21 bomber. Now, you remember this, right? Uh, I can't remember how it went down, but I believe it was towards the beginning of summer. There was some deal to where they were unveiling the new the the new aircraft that was going to be you know the end all be all of global security and yeah, I said right then and there, not so much, <laughs> not so much um. It's it. We got a new bomber, folks. That that that's it. Is it anything super spectacular? No, no. It it can carry a fairly high amount of payload. That's significant. Um. But other than that, 
Yeah. Okay. It's not, I don't know why they keep calling stuff stealth. We do not have anything stealth at this time. Stealth means others can't see it, right? That ain't that what you get from it? Again, I will emphasize, we have nothing stealth at this time. We haven't for a couple of decades. Thank you, Clintons. They sold that stuff, by the way. That. Thank you, Clintons. Yeah, our stealth technology would probably still be effective today if it wasn't for the Clintons. Insanity. Absolute insanity. Anyway, again, we're getting a far cry away. Um, I'm not quite sure on that headline. Um, but uh, Larry Johnson, former CIA, is saying uh, Zelensky should fear a military coup. I would agree. Uh article there u.s sending large arms package to israel idf requests 200 switchblade 600 kamikaze drones and 14,000 tamir missiles that's just a few uh this here says idf upgrades war to multi-front prepares for attacks from iran and iraq gaza will remain main front okay and there's a lot of stuff going on this is going to escalate, folks. This has no direction it can go except for outwards in every way. Uh, Iran saying the regional expansion of the war between Israel and Hamas is inevitable. I, I agree. I mean, a dangerous development drone from Syria hit a school in Israel. IDF retaliation. Uh, Assad is responsible is the quote. And that was an article from yesterday. So, a uh, drone attack by pro-Iranian militias against American Al-Tanif base. Again, yesterday, uh, yesterday's headline. A new Houthi attack on Israel arrowhead, or arrow system intercepted the missile. Again, came out yesterday. Uh, concern in Turkey, thousands of Israelis are buying land in occupied territories. 43,000 so far. Yeah, that's definitely interesting, huh? Uh, dead Russian official in Lugansk. Ukrainian Secret Services claimed responsibility for his murder. Uh, let's see. Ukraine, two Russian landing craft that were hit by Ukrainian USVs in Crimea were sunk. Hmm. And that is, by the way, today's news. So was, uh, so was this one here. Uh, heavy blows by the Russians in the capital of Ukraine, what the mayor of Kyiv um, reported. Uh, Spiegel, Zelensky manipulations no longer work. There is no one to help him. I would agree. Uh, the Washington Pol uh, Post nails Zalunzi. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Says Ukrainian colonel behind the Nord Stream sabotage involvement of Ukrainian AGED, whatever all that good stuff is. Um, and I think what they're trying to do when it comes to this right now is to, honestly, I think they're just trying to throw anybody under the best that'll fit. Um, because, come on, we know who was responsible for, for the Nord Stream explosion. So they're doing anything they can just to throw anybody under the bus, anybody that is stay under the bus, um, just so that it doesn't come back to them. That says, uh, Russia says saboteurs derailed train with 19 carriages. Um, investigation of a terrorist act is ongoing. Uh, this here says Israel's first strike in Lebanon at a depth of 45 kilometers from the border. Again. I don't think this is going to be allowed to happen for very long. And I think Israel's going to wind up having some aircraft taken out of the skies. And I think that's when you're really going to see things open up. Uh, let's see. Germany doubles military aid to Ukraine, sends an extra 25 leopards. Uh, Israel warns Hezbollah, we will, go, or we will do to Beirut what we do to the Gaza Strip. I don't know, folks. This whole shindig. 
It's not a time to take scripture lightly. It's not a time to ignore what it says. And it certainly is not a time to follow man before you follow the Father. And that's what I see so many people doing. Following man, following man's traditions, their dogmas, their doctrines, their made up stuff. And not following the Father. The only way that you can get through this with any clarity is if you focus, laser focus on the Father. Follow Him. If you don't do that, you'll just be one of the confused masses. That's all there is to it. An American plane crashed in the eastern Mediterranean. Um, and, and we're not even sure what kind of a plane. They kind of made people led people to believe it was likely an F-18, um, but, and that was because of the particular ship and stuff that was involved, um, but they're really tight-lipped on the information. They are saying that it wasn't anything malice, that it, it was a training mishap, and simply did a training mishap, but they are being real tight-lipped on it, and just the entire thing is just weird. Um, and then lastly here, U.S. mocks first strike nuclear attack on Moscow and St. Petersburg targeting ICBM silos. Russia responds with Bulova launch. So, I don't think it's long before we see this open up to a much wider conflict. Again, Israel is now starting to, to go a little deeper into countries to strike. And I don't think that that's going to be allowed to happen for very long. I think that Russia is probably going to step up, offer some systems for the area. And I think that in, in pretty short order, we're going to see is, Israeli uh, fighter jets being knocked out of the sky. When that happens, this thing, it's really going to open up. It's going to open up and it will open up in a hurry. Uh, it's one thing about this conflict so far is it's been a little, and I hate saying this because I'm speaking from a perspective at my computer chair in my, my warm, cozy home in the United States of America. So when I say that this is kind of a, a moving at a slow pace, understand that it's not a so slow pace for anybody that's directly involved, okay? I just wanted to make that clear, because I don't... What they are going through there, it's horrific. Absolutely horrific. And I, I, I can't see how anybody can support what's happening there. I just, I, just, I can't. I can't. In the United States, Americans have been indoctrinated with this throwaway society. And I mean, it's to the point that it's insane the level of throwaway society we are. Because it didn't stop at the toaster that quit working, the microwave, the coffee pot. No, no, no. Everything gets thrown away at the very first inconvenience. Even marriages, you name it. It's crazy. Folks, it's time to get out of that mindset. We better get out of that mindset. Because a lot of people are wanting to just throw away other individuals. Remember the part the Bible talks about the hearts would wax cold? Yeah. The things the Bible warns about, you should be doing self-reflection and making sure that you're not a part of what the Bible was warning us about. I'm just saying. Just saying. I know that this isn't a 
religion channel. This isn't a biblical channel, but it's always been based. That's why we're called the Watchman News. It has always been based in spirituality from day one. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him. You're going to hear it pick up because I have to blow my trumpet. I don't have a choice. I was commanded. I don't want to be one of the lukewarm that gets spit out of the father's mouth. I don't want to be one of the unknowledgeable that the father forgets myself and my children. Isn't that crazy? Just by resisting knowledge you can condemn your own children read Hosea 4 6 if you don't believe me read it good make sure you read it out of multiple versions of the Bible because they are not all the same it's not just you it's also your children It's time to either write off the word or take it serious. That's totally up to you. But for me, for anybody around me, I'm going to serve the Father or else you won't be around me. The way it is. Anyway, keep an eye on this stuff. When it does go up, it's going to really go up and it's going to go quick. Once, once you have jets start to fight one another, the battlefield's going to get enormous in a heartbeat. Anyway, like I said, keep an eye on it. I hope to see you later for the live show. Plenty of content coming out involving the uh, Laosoft A18 Plus mini camera. Lots of content to come on that. No, I'm not. I mean, they sent me one for test and review, right? It's not like I'm. It's not like they sent me a million dollars to be able to talk it. You know, to talk it up and talk. No, I'm. I'm not. I think it's a pretty cool product. And just wait until you see what I've figured out how to do with it going to be really really cool i'm trying to slow down and not put the cart before the horse but it's hard it's hard today i need to try to focus on maybe shooting a couple of videos on just how to set it up and how to normally use it but uh man i want to get out there, there there's a video i want to make so bad um because it's so cool just how quick and easy you can you can put this thing into place so anyway i will uh, i will get to that as soon as I can. I hope you all have a good day. Hope to see you later for the live show. And hope things don't blow up much worse between now and then. Hope to see you then. Hope you have a good day. Shalom.